is a moral deficit while we deal with our children in the world. And that's why we have to create the strongest possible moral voice and platform through the laureates and leaders for children. I would like to welcome you all in my country at Jordan, that in its time-honored tradition of hospitality, no matter how challenging, has put the protection of refugee communities and children in particular at the top of its priorities. Let us not wait for political will around the world to emerge. Let us take action ourselves, and this is the forum to do it. Some of the Biggest moral authorities and best brains, brightest brains are assembled here. 12 kilometers from the place of Christ's baptism and we're gathered together here with Christians and Muslims and Jews and Buddhists united in our commitment to children. And that's deeply, deeply meaningful. I feel a special commitment to the cause that unites us today fight for and defend every vulnerable child in the war and guarantee them a dignified life. And in this forum, I reaffirm once more our commitment that Panama becomes the first country in a region to fully eradicate child labor. We are judged by how we look after those who are most vulnerable, how we look after the elderly, but also, in particular, how we look after children. And I think this is the important message from this uh, Children's Summit. One cruise missile is the equivalent of keeping 120,000 refugees in Jordanian refugee camps for six years. One cruise missile. We should open, open our hearts and understand the importance and of compassion and understanding that when another human being needs you, you have to be there. Even when it looks dark, light is definitely going to come. Never, ever, ever give up because it's only you that can make a future for you by the help of God. I urge all you here, the young people, the leader of business, of organization, of government, the Nobel laureates, to ensure the implementation of law to protect child rights. I want all youth delegates to please stand up. Laureates and leaders, look around. These are the leaders of today. Those who are already making a difference, just like all of you. Please support us. I commit to mobilize, sensitize, people in the in community to stop child labor. I demand civic education be implemented into school systems. My commitment is to carry out community projects in providing shelters and orphanages with modern technology. As for the youth, look, you're here at the Dead Sea and it is the lowest point on earth. Uh, the only way to go is up. We as laureates and leaders call for a revolution in society's soul. Every child matters! Every child matters! We, the laureates and leaders, are not going to leave this like that. We will make sure that every single child is free to be a child.